All right, welcome back to this week's Black Oak Casino Resort Alumni Spotlight. Today, I'm joined by my good friend and another 49er legend, Daryl Pollard. DP, what's going on with you, bro? I'm doing good, man. What's going on? You're looking good, man. Congratulations well, again on your, uh, on your, uh, you know, full first year anniversary of the wedding. That yes. you guys are a marvelous looking couple, man. I love. Thank it. you, thank you. And I and I tell you, you know, my my wife talks about you because she knows that we do a lot of stuff out in the community, uh, and you know, especially last year when we kind of coached the All Star game. But right now, with the, with the times that we're in right now, COVID. Tell me about what's been going on with you. How you've been kind of staying busy? Have you picked up any new habits, new hobbies, bad or good? Ooh, man, that's probably like everybody else. Um, I'm not one to get out there. I would love to have participated in some of the protests, but you know, uh, I, I'm glad to see the young folks out there. I'd say the number one thing that I've gotten pretty good at, as you can see, you know, I learned how to do a little bit of flower arrangements. I like those skills. I like those the culinary skills. skills. You know, I'm working on. You know, I got my my ninja foodie, which is not quite, you know, in the high end, but uh, it's a nine in one deal that I can kind of get some things done. And so I've been able to do some nice salmon and some ribs wow. the way I want to, you know, so it's, it's working out. It's working out. So so it sounds like you took this isolation and you learned kind of some new skills, your floral skills and your culinary skills. You have no choice. You can't look. There's only so much Netflix, right? There's yeah. only so many books you can read. There's only so many Spotify uh, uh, music lists you can put together or, or Apple music lists. You know, there's only so much you can do. So at some point, you got to keep the mind going. God, hey, I feel you. I feel you. I had to kind of get myself busy, and I was able to get involved with a lot of different organizations in the San Francisco area. I know you're out in the East Bay, uh, and I know you follow the 49ers. Uh, right now, let's, 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 let's kind of pivot to some football stuff. The 49ers right. so far, you've, you've been following, I'm sure, right? Absolutely. Okay. And, and my big thing, I play defensive line. Uh, but I remember you being one of those guys in the secondary, you were really, all, you were all about your technique. Okay. And I, and I, and I look at some of these young guys, Richard Sherman's down, Jason Burnett's playing really well, but there's a lot of young guys out there. When you look at this secondary, what do you see as far as something maybe you can give or you've seen some of these young guys, young guys playing uh, uh, in the secondary in the NFL? What kind of advice would you give them? Well, I mean, you know, it's one of the things that obviously didn't come, you know, right directly for me. The first question I asked Ronnie was, how do you get better every day? Right. And I remember Ronnie Lott saying, you know, focus on one thing a day and build on it whether that's your back pedal, whether it's your break, whether it's your offhand jam, whether it's understanding a particular coverage, what you want to take away from the coverage, what you want to show the quarterback, what you don't want to show the quarterback. There's a lot of techniques, as you know, within defense that you can do to make yourself look better and actually make it to your advantage. So um, obviously the number one thing is technique. I, I would say across the board, looking at all the games, not just the Niner games, I'm seeing a lot of good young DBs out there really working on their technique. I mean, just look at the game, how great was played just this Thursday night. I mean, it was a battle in the secondary on both sides. Right. Um, and you have two, you know, pretty, I would say Brady obviously is going to be considered one of the goats. Right. But you got, you, you got Nick Foles on the other side who isn't too shabby himself. So when you're looking at it, you know, these guys had to go up against some pretty young guys that they hadn't seen a whole lot of, which, you know, right now I, I look at this as the first game of the season this week. You know, we, we didn't have a preseason. Um, the team is still trying to learn each other. Um, there's a lot going on right now. And there's a lot for, you know, not only for John and, and Kyle to look at and figure out, you know, how it's going to work and how it's going to come together. But there's a lot to look at out there. They've got a lot of talent, which is a beautiful thing versus not having enough. Yeah, they got a lot of, lot of young talent. And I like what you said, what Ronnie kind of told you, focus on one thing and try to get better every day. And you, and you know how to do it at a super high level. Two Super Bowls, right? You got two rings? Yeah. Yes, sir, man. I, I wish I'd have got that one with you. You know, we almost <laughs> had three. I won't even yeah. complain about that three in a row. But, you know, yes, I'm blessed. Yeah. Two Super Bowls. Weber, is it Weber State? Weber State. Weber State. Come on, Weber. man. After Damian Leonard, everybody should know Weber. If I didn't put it on the map, which I didn't, you know, at least Damien, you know, come on, Mr. Yeah, Leonard yeah, from yeah. Oakland himself, you know. 
Yeah, well, you you know what? I, I mean, I, I like I said, I played with you, and I remember how serious you were on the football field and off the football field, and I know that you've carried it on into your, your, your post-NFL. Hey, DP, we got the 49ers coming back to Levi Stadium. Tough loss last week. The 49ers have not won at Levi Stadium this season. They're 2-2 two and two right now. Dolphins come into uh, Levi's. Give me something that you're kind of looking at, or is there something specifically you're looking at in the 49ers-Dolphin matchup? Well, I think in the overall spec of the game is number one, obviously the offensive line has to get rid of some of the mistakes they made last week. Uh, we know that every team normally watches the last four games that you've played and also the last four games that they played you. Um, so there's a total of eight games where that research comes into, at least that's what it was when we played to make us better for every week. So you got to eliminate those mistakes, whether it's on offense or defense. What I'd like to see is Jimmy G's coming back. Uh, what are you going to do to make him comfortable in the pocket? How are you going to get his, his, his arm, his flow for, you know, the type of routes and get everybody part of the play? Yeah, there's some areas we definitely got to work at. What I would like to see is even though we had some injuries on the D-line, is that same aggressiveness that we had even prior to. I know it's not Bosa, but you know what? Next man up. You got to come out. You got to let the ears fly back and you just got to make it happen. And so, you know, some get after it. We need some, you know, we got to have that grit mentality and some get after it. Um, yeah. At some point, we got to, you know, we got to take advantage of some situations. Um, special teams, another big part. We got too much talent not to be able to shine in every area on the field. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. Miami is not going to be a pushover game by any facet of the imagination. Yeah. They've got a Wrangler type quarterback. He's going to sling it. You know, he's got that Brett Favre type of mentality. Sometimes he's good at it. Sometimes he's bad. Here's a chance to try to get some stats on defense cycles. He's going to let it go. Yep. So yep. we got to let it go. And, you know, what I'm hearing you say is you got to win in the trenches, offensive line and defensive yep. line. And I think that's the one thing last week the 49ers did not do, win at the line of scrimmage, offensive line, defensive line. And this is an opportunity, again, this week, if you let this quarterback get in any kind of rhythm, he could kill you like a Carson Wentz did last week. So, hey, thanks a lot, DP, for joining us on the Black Oak Casino Resort Alumni Spotlight. And thank you so very much for being our honorary captain for today's game.